Now, social distancing guidelines have also led to the Royal British Legion needing to ask people to find new ways to donate money to its poppy appeal. The pandemic is restricting the work of the charity's fundraising collectors. Well, Nicole Brown is a Royal Navy Reserve nurse and also a trainee NHS paramedic. Thank you for joining us live from Birmingham. I know you've been extremely busy. You've been, um, well, training uh, to become an NHS paramedic. Congratulations with that. And you've also had a rather special experiencing with the British Legion when it comes to their poppy appeal. I won't spoil it. You tell us what happened. Um, so the Royal British Legion uh, got in contact with me to get involved with the poppy appeal. Um, so I took some photographs last week at my home. Um, I printed off my poppy and put it in my front window. Um, and I also wear this poppy with pride. And uh, today, yes, I'm here just to talk about um, the awareness and how it differed from last year, um, Remembrance Day. And we saw your image there on the front page of the 2020 Poppy Appeal, because, of course, this year it's a little bit difficult. Normally we see the, the, the army of volunteers selling poppies and this year they can't. So they're finding new ways of raising money and awareness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is just a way of us adapting um, our approach, um, abiding by the rules of today. Um, so hopefully people will visit the Royal British Legion website. Um, they can download a poppy and print it off and put it into their windows, or they can also order a poppy and donate online. And just explain to us how important is it for this money to be raised? What does it do? Uh, so the money raised goes towards charity. It goes towards the veterans that need um, special assistance, whether that's with their mobility or their mental health. Um, it's just, it all goes into a part and whatever fundraising that we um, have that year will go towards uh, the military. So the Royal British Legion's poppy appeal uh, are changing with the times. And when, when they contacted you, how, what was your initial reaction? I was shocked. <laughs> I was shocked, but I was very happy to um, be a part of the Poppy Appeal. Um, if it meant that I took some time out of my day, um, I was more than happy to get involved. And because, of course, it is just so important. Talk us through that. Yeah, so being a reservist, it combines my civilian job and also um, being in a part of the military. Um, so... I just wanted to be able to take part, um, especially this year, um, having been on the front line um, as a student paramedic and a nurse. Um, I just thought this was a way of me still getting involved indirectly with the military. Um, so it's very important to me and the rest of my colleagues. So during this time where everything has just changed beyond comprehension, how, how has your training as a leading naval nurse reservist, how has it changed? Um, we usually meet at the unit every week, um, but unfortunately we're unable to do that due to social distancing. Um, so we go via Zoom every week if we're able to, um, but it's been very difficult because everything's over email now. Um, but they've been very supportive. We're still staying in communication and, um, yeah, just maintaining our social distancing. And how are those Zoom meetings? Do people use the mute button or is there a bit of a nightmare? Um, they, they've been great so far. Um, it's nice to see other faces because we're unable to see one another, um, obviously due to COVID. Um, so it's nice to see everyone else's faces. And then we've got our WhatsApp group also just to check up on one another as well. And while so many of us have been uh, shut away indoors, you've been extremely busy, Nicole. Obviously, you're training to become a paramedic with Me West Midlands Ambulance Service. You were out and about. You were on the front line. Tell us a little bit. Um, yeah, so I trained in my academy for about 14 weeks, um, but we did get sent out early um, due to the demand of 999 calls. Um, but recently, the demand is still there. But what I would also say to people is that even if they are unwell, what I've found is that they are fearful to call 999 because they're scared of getting COVID in hospital, but it is completely safe. Staff are wearing the correct PPE to protect ourselves and protect the patient. Um, so, yeah, it's just educating patients about what's going on and just reassuring them during this uh, 
current pandemic. And with your experience as a, a naval nurse reservist and also with the NHS, do you feel that this is a kind of a war? Do you feel like you're on the front line? Tell us a little bit about your emotions, because it must be pretty challenging. It is, but I enjoy my job so much that it doesn't feel like I'm on the front line. Um, I'm such a caring person that when we attend a call or if I'm working in the hospital, it's just a part of the way that I live. I come home to my family. Um, my mother's also a nurse, so we're able to talk about our experiences, but it, I don't feel like I'm on the front line. I just do it because I, I care about the community. Your mum must be so proud of you. Yes, she is. She is. And we're just reminding back to this Poppy Appeal 2020. So you, you, you said you were shocked, but you must, be, you must feel the sense of just brilliance that you're doing when it comes to raising awareness. And of course, the Poppy as well that you're wearing so proudly on your beautiful uniform. Yes. Um, yeah. I, like I said, I was shocked. Um, but even talking to people today, it, it has made me proud of myself. And I see myself representing HMS Forward, which is in Birmingham, and also the rest of my colleagues within the Navy and also the wider armed forces as well. Um, so I do sit here very proudly. Um, yeah. And I think you've got the nation behind you, Nicole Brown, a Naval Reserve nurse and a trainee NHS paramedic. Good luck to you. And I'm sure your mum is super proud. And we can see Nicole's picture on the Royal British Legion's 2020 Poppy Appeal front page on its website. Thank you so much for your time. There she is. Stunning picture.